So hi, let's uh, solve this uh, algorithmic challenge and it says uh, coefficients of the quadratic equation and what we're given here is that um, the equation will be in the form in this form that's a quadratic equation and we have uh, two roots that's x1 and x2 and uh, let's just come down to the the example but it says the root can be written like this so in this example we have quadratic one and two which one being the one the first root and the sec two being the second and it's saying that uh, this would be would end up being the uh, coefficients so in this case this means that um based on this one x minus one and two uh, times x minus 2 is equal to 0 just as is expressed here and he said when we do the multiplication it becomes this so we can see 1 which is coefficient here uh, minus 3 which is that here and then constant 2 which is here so similarly it's the same thing here we have these roots and when you expand it it gives this coefficient so it means that this means uh, just this my x minus 0 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. When we do the multiplication, this becomes this. So we end up with 1 as the coefficient here, minus 1, which is here, and 0, which is here. So it says notes inputs will be integers, and when x1 is equivalent to x2, this means the root has the most multiplicity of 2. So let's try and solve that here. What we have here is the quadratic and we're giving the two um, roots which will be applied here. So we, we are meant to return down the coefficients as we asked to do that, find the coefficients of the quadratic equation. So we to solve this, we need to just express it this way first. And once we analyze that, we will now know what we should end up with to create the function. So um, let me just uh, hide this and I'm going to start with JavaScript as usual and what we're expecting is we're going to express it in this form. So I will take this something like this out and I'm going to put that here. So what we'll have is this. Um, this is what we're expecting to have, right? and um, we can see that we from this we can now expand it uh, further to what we want to have so to expand that we know that x times x is going to be x uh, raised to the power of 2 and uh, to do that in um, javascript it, we use the math function so math.po.pow that's power and we'll take the value which we want to um, multiply which is x and raise to the power of 2 that will be uh, this like this right so once we have that expressed we are now going to uh, take this and multiply it by um, minus x2 so we'll just um, so we'll just have something like this plus and we're going to have this minus x2 and then we're going to put x there right so the next one is minus x1 times x so we we'll also have plus then minus x1 and we'll put x there then afterwards we say minus x1 times minus x2 so plus and we we'll put minus x1 and the next one is going to multiply by minus x2 so this is what we're going to have something like this at the end of the day if we are to expand that and if we now decide to expand this further we would have um let me hide that we'll have something like this mat dot uh mat power dot power and uh, x2 then we're going to now see the common factor here it, common is uh, x so this is the same thing as saying x right multiplied by minus x2 minus x1 that's what it is right then we are going to continue with this one we have here and we'll just put it instead 
together so we're going to have minus x1 times x2 minus times minus x2 so so we have once well, we have uh, minus minus times minus is uh, definitely going to give us a uh, positive value but let's just leave that um, and do that yeah so now we have this we are expected to compare it to something like this so it's going to look like this so let's just copy that and we're going to say this is a, is what you have here is exactly the same with this so what can we notice here we can um take out the x that is um this is x raised to the power of 2 which is represented by this math uh, dot pow uh, x2 so if we take it out what we'll just be end when what we end up with basically is a and uh, plus b right and plus c and we're taking this so we're going to take this whole out and what we'll just have is one because one times this will give it so one and what we would have here if we take this one out what we're going to be left with is this right and and this one there's no x here so it's just going to be the same thing plus this right so what this is going to what it's telling us now is a is this one b is this and c is this so if we were to replace this here in the return um in what we're going to return we're going to just place a which is one because we're meant to do it this way so a which is one b which is going to be all that so we'll copy that and put there and c which is going to be all that so we'll copy that one and we'll put that right there so this is what we're expecting to be the end result so let me just hide that and let me hide this one so basically um i guess this should work so let's test that and now this has passed let's attempt and this passed too so nice so we've been able to solve that uh just doing it this way so you can see it's it's quite easy and um if we want to um further x break this down further um we can just say um this is going to be minus then we'll remove the um uh, minus here and say plus because minus one times x2 is going to be minus x2 and minus 1 times uh, x1 is going to be minus x1 right and here we can uh, just leave it out as um, plus just end up that way because minus minus will end up giving a uh, plus value so you can as well um, leave it this way and let me test it's still passed attempt and it's still passed so that's basically it um how to solve that in javascript and now let's try in python so going to python and now we have the same thing we are meant to express this uh given the roots we're meant to express it this way and get the coefficient so let's try that the same way so this would be uh, relatively um, the same thing we would end up having um, x just the same one we had x minus x1 times x minus x2 just the same way and this equals to zero and this will end up being the same as we'll do it this way x raised to the power of two and we're going to say plus um what next we want to multiply x um so we'll just say minus x2 the same uh to x that way then that's multiplied 
then we'll say plus and the same thing minus x1 and x and plus then the last one will have minus um, x1 times minus x2 so this we've broken it down and to break it down further we just do the same thing as to comment out we use that a hash then um, to break this down further we're going to have um, this is similar so it's going to be minus x1 just that way that way and then uh, this is equally fine you can make it both positive because it's minus and minus is positive so this will we'll end up with x squared and so we can just say this is 1 times this right plus uh, this and this but we are looking at comparing it to this so what would have to return in this case is a which is 1 b which is going to be this one here and c which is going to be the result of this one here something like that and i guess that one solves it so let's test and now it passed our attempt it passed and uh, let's see if we can refactor this uh, just say minus because and this plus Great, that's just basically how to solve.